Hey, it's Tracy and Jay, and we're cooking on a grill today with Stelfers of Kissel Hill. Going to show you how to make amazing red potatoes on the grill, also corn on the cob, and we'll be showcasing Stelfers of Kissel Hill's amazing prime rib burger. You want one of them? The first thing that we're going to start with is our baby red potatoes, and you can see that we've put together a bunch of aluminum foil. We have just kind of layered it so that it makes a nice sheet of it, and we're eventually going to make this into a packet. First thing that we did was we got our baby red potatoes, washed them off, and then we cut little slits in both sides of the potatoes. This will allow them to steam nicely on the grill. We've laid out our baby red potatoes onto our aluminum foil packet. It doesn't have to be in any particular order. They're eventually all going to get smushed together when we close this packet. To this, for flavor, we are going to be adding some garlic and some onions. We used fresh garlic, took three cloves and just minced it up, and then some red onion. Also have some seasoning. This is Mrs. Dash's garlic blend, and we also put salt and pepper into it. I'm going to make sure they're all nice and covered. One thing I forgot to mention is that we did put cooking spray on the aluminum foil just as an added backup. And we also have fresh rosemary that we chopped and we're going to add this onto it as well. There's nothing like fresh rosemary and red potatoes. They're so good. Now here's the trick. We're going to turn this into a big steamer and to do that we're going to add some butter. And don't be shy with the butter. You want to add a lot. This isn't something that you do every day because you don't want to use this much butter on a daily basis. But for this, it's okay. Your friends and your family will definitely appreciate it. All right, we have our butter. Now, most people just fold up the packet and stick it on the grill. We're going to go one added step. Remember I said that we wanted this to be a steamer. We have a bucket with some ice in it. And this is a little trick that I learned a long time ago. Whenever you're grilling anything on the grill, I'm just going to use my hand, and you want it to be a steamer, put some ice in. Because this packet is going to close up, the ice is going to melt, and it's literally going to steam these babies to perfection. Our baby red potatoes are completely foiled up. You want to make sure that you go through with another piece of foil after you make your packet and seal it up again because you're going to be tossing and turning this in the grill and you don't want any potatoes to come out. These go on a grill on medium high heat for about an hour and you want to turn them every now and then. Now we're ready to make our corn on the cob on the grill and this is the same concept as the potatoes. Again, the potatoes need to stay on the grill for about an hour until they're tender inside. Corn on the cob is going to go in medium high heat for about 45 minutes. We've taken a sheet of aluminum foil and we've husked our corn and rinsed it off. We're going to stick it right in the middle of this piece of aluminum foil and do the same thing. Add some flavor to it. You want to put some butter in and by putting two little slabs of butter on before you cook it, your guests won't have to worry with buttering it afterwards. We're also going to add a little bit of garlic and onion just for some flavor. And again, we have our Mrs. Dash garlic seasoning with salt and pepper. Stick that on there. Trust me, your friends are going to love this. A lot of people don't realize how simple it is to cook corn on the cob on the grill. And we're doing the steam method again. So you're going to take two ice cubes and stick them in. And just roll this puppy up, stick it on the grill for 45 minutes and you're going to have some amazing... Our potatoes are on the grill. They need to stay on for about an hour on medium high heat. So you want to wait about 15 minutes in between putting the potatoes on and putting on the corn on the cob. I'm going to throw these on medium high heat. The corn on the cob needs to stay on for 45 minutes. You'll need to turn it just as you're turning the potatoes every now and then so that it cooks all the way through. And this is the fun part. You close the grill and you go have a drink with your friends. You want to wait until about 20 minutes are left on your potatoes and your corn before you start cooking up your burgers and your mushrooms. We have combined a bunch of sliced mushrooms into a bowl with rosemary and some seasoning. Just season it to taste. 
also some onions and some garlic, fresh garlic. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the potatoes and the corn. We're going to make a packet of this. So just spread this out onto your aluminum foil. And these are really light, so they're going to cook in less time than the, the corn and the potatoes. And just fold this up. We're not going to add any ice cube to this because it will make them mushy and we don't want to do that. I'm going to make a, a nice little packet and put this on the grill. Our packet of mushrooms is going on the grill. And this is the best part. This is the part we've been waiting to tell you about. See these burgers over here? These ginormous, juicy, amazing burgers. You can only find these at Stouffer's of Kissel Hill. They are their special prime rib burgers. They are so good, you don't need to add anything to them. But to give it a little bit of a kick, we've added some Mrs. Dash original seasoning and some Worcestershire sauce. And we're gonna put these on the grill. General rule of thumb when you're grilling hamburger is to cook them for about five minutes on each side. These are going to do a little bit longer. We're going to cook them about six minutes each side, then flip them again, and then cook them for about another four minutes just to make sure they're cooked all the way through. Same deal with your mushrooms as with everything else. You want to make sure that you're flipping it every once in a while just to make sure that it gets a nice even cook. We're trying to time everything out so that it all is done cooking at the same time. The prime rib burgers, again, you can only get these at Stelfers of Kissel Hill. They're not going to flare up. You can see that the flame is really low. It's because it's such an amazing quality of meat. And you want to cook them six minutes per side, then flip them again about another four minutes, and they should be cooked all the way through. Our meal is cooked, and Jay looks pretty happy because not only does it look amazing, but it smells incredible. Don't be scared if your corn is a little bit browned. It doesn't mean that the corn is burned or overcooked. It's just the seasoning that we put on it. All right, dig in. All right, starting with the mushrooms and onions. Nice, soft, done spice, awesome. To the potato, nice and soft, could probably just cut it with a fork. Great taste, done perfectly. Head to the corn, because that's like the main attraction besides the burger. Nice and done, melts in your mouth, perfectly done. And now to the great prime rib burger. You like it? Like it even more so than a regular burger? Indeed. I'm speechless. Bon appetit.